is in the book, despite what the schedule says, uh, down the revenue. You're putting out a mic about up here from uh, Toronto. If you, uh, you can find him. But first, we have to wait, Mike, because there's something important I forgot. Because there's one uh, very important man missing from this party, uh, which sadly cannot be with us, but we gave him a sort of a shrine. J Minor, should be here. I wasn't gonna light a candle for him, but unfortunately I only got an Amiga lighter, so yeah. <laughs> Needs an update, sorry. Lots of stuff up I wasn't gonna light it. Oh, give a hand to Mike Battle. So I Mike no 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 I um I am I'm Joe Pillow. I guess you don't have a time, I think. So what you said last night. It's nice, it's not like those are fun, but this is so beautiful because they work like Yesterday morning they were working. Yesterday evening they were working. This morning and early in the morning they were working, preparing. And I don't know, yesterday they told me maybe you can speak 10 minutes. Okay, I didn't prepare anything, but we somehow managed to put together a few notes also to explain what you have here about. No, it's a 1.5 gigabyte download. And um, first of all, thanks for being here. It's nice to be here as I say and others across the same field. Uh, I wanted to come up with a Joe Pillow thing, also remembering this, uh, at the death when we had this uh, mask thing, I don't know, it's safe here. Uh, we, we were dressed up as, as whatever, it was Amiga Syndrome, I think, but at the time, with the floppy disks and so on. So a long time ago, you find this photo on the back of the Amiga Forever. That's, uh, that was DEFCON 90, that is DEFCON 93, and it links a bit to what we're still doing today, because uh, back in the here is Chuck Swan, uh, who did the touch-sensitive uh, tablet. Here we have Brilliance, a leaf from Electronic Arts with blue paint, and I was showing him uh, personal paint, and taking pictures, of course. Uh, we still work with Chuck, for example, you know, every now and then we leave updates to the emulation, of course also with the help of Tony Willen and many others, but that are really crazy, like we have Pastor Scars, which is in even the end where Hyper-V don't have, or we have the touch sensitive support, which was really undocumented, so Chuck helped and we helped and so on, but this is still ongoing, so we, we do little things that uh, seemingly we shouldn't have the time to do, but we all love to do. Can we just for a second, I wanted to show something about the camera. Can we just for one second drop, for one second cover the camera? So, what's on the... This is not actually there. Something new I wanted to show you. So, this is the familiar old, I would say now, Horrible because it doesn't support the high but it worked on high degree. Somebody mentioned it also this morning. So this is the Amiga Forever, so now it's one click easy to play. Yeah. So this this you will be. Yeah. And this you have on the download, but I'll show you. Do a faster for me, this, but we have it faster. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so that's. Like the other one. So, and then, so this one is here. What else can we do? in the screen because the projector is a little bit smaller than the So this whole user interface is being rewritten now. It's all an open thing uh, to support uh, you know, 4K monitors and these things. So I like the side by side. 
doesn't stop. But well, yeah, you spoke about Unity, right? Um, yeah, we have been too working on, on a cross-platform framework, which I will explain. Uh, that's been uh, supporting different regulation engines and plugins. Well, I hope this is. So that's actually uh, not the usual uh, old simulation I've seen since uh, November, December. So Tony, Willem, and I that we work together to support things like a PCI bridge so we get native uh, uh, drivers for devices like uh, Ethernet or the video cards. And also not just like 128 megabytes of RAM, but like 1.5 gigabytes of RAM or in the emulation. So uh, again, we can do that side by side. That should be hopefully with the support also of the AWS friends. Okay, so let's close that. We don't have it so much time. As you, as you can see, everything has the cross platform and do one of the things. Implemented. And the same user interface, the same ordering. You, as you know, we also have to cover the whole. 64 and uh, CDMA kit, so. Okay. so, and uh, this will be in the same play in the future. If you want to have uh, the whole Commodore Amiga uh, more than 30 years, you can have it all in one player. So, let's continue from here. Ah uh, yes, last week I met with Jason Scott and I spent uh, a week go back again at the Internet Architecture Center, it's just it's another project we're doing. Uh, you may know Jason from his work like putting online uh, the main emulator, you know, server version with scripts, uh, DOS simulation as well you know, on the archive.org site. So one of the things we are doing um, is to try to preserve, since we also inherit the, the Commodore Amiga copyrights, uh, to preserve things that can be published now, be made available for downloads, but also things that may be for copyright reasons or for other reasons are not yet safe to download, but still we want to preserve for whatever. I mean, I recognize in the archive org a uh, shared feeling about uh, long term thinking. They're really of distributed storage, uh, and, and many of them have their sources, the money, and the planning for the long term. So, even things you cannot get downloaded, we make sure that they have them. So, we work with the friends at Aminet, we work with uh, our own archives, videos, documentation, um, whatever, software, and they're collecting it. So, we probably will be available to download from the archive all soon, and in part, uh, Let's see over the years if we can also out some issues. And uh, otherwise, when they're all dead and the copyrights have expired, at least it will be preserved in a proper way. Unicode, we, a lot of people try to, that's also on my desk. This is just an assortment of things on my desk right now. We're doing some Unicode work, uh, you know, to su submit the Petsky character set, for example, to better preserve uh, old listings and so on. A few attempts have been made, but they were not accepted, so we're giving it another try with some Unicode experts. The play I mentioned, obviously, mentioned uh, where many have day to day real work to do again also because this is just a small niche and it's not possible. Tens of thousands of titles have been catalogued and we would like to preserve all of this so we need a lot of help to continue doing this. Demo scene is another fascinating field applications. Many personal projects, many people contacted us, you know, there's a game that my father wrote for friends and family, how can I preserve that? And so there's a lot of culture also under the beds. I mean, we'd like to somehow tap into that as well. And that's why Amiga Forever includes a nice authoring um, user interface to add metadata and help preserve this in the long term. Okay, skip that. Yeah. Well, these obvious things we have to deal with, I will just fast forward, but just to give you an idea that these are many things we have to keep in mind. <laughs> Don't be, I like that, because when we started emulation in 1997, as Pedro knows, we received like bomb threats. 
because we are going to kill the mega. So, ah, oh, you're going to kill the of artificial regulation and uh, the people will die because of it. Well, my view was more that, like, uh, we would give a plan B if everything else fails, like, my own hardware was failing, this cousin ship was failing, or whatever, and we could uh, keep on working on that. And I think it worked out pretty well. The uh, regulation got uh, long term support. Uh, and and we, are, we are happy and we keep working with that. Now, again, now with our PC, the same issue. Now you can, for $29, uh, get a power PC notebook and try a new OS uh, for one. Maybe soon if, if everything is sorted out. But I think, I mean, I, uh, this is my original new OS for one. I bought it. It works, you can do it uh, soon as it will be in your ear, right now you can do it, but uh, you will still be able to do it also in the longer forever. So it, it's not getting easier. Also because we, you know, I have friends who have a big smile on their face when they say, oh, I work for an for a NGO, I work for a non-profit. Instead we are evil also in that we are poor but commercial, so in order to keep investing in this, we have to like sell some of the forever every now and then or do other things. And we don't do the real work I mentioned before. So it's really a difficult position that doesn't get easy because last thing is we heard that we are doing the change of title of the copyrights after 93 now. So what, what is to be are you going to what, what you know I would like to make everything free. If I could live just with good karma Maybe if I was a large company like uh, Google or whatever, I could make the video as free and get some credits just for making it. But I have other resources where indirectly I, I can keep making a living, whether it's advertising or whatever. Uh, I don't. Uh, I'm, I, as a uh, we have foreign business solutions so in the currency world which keeps, uh, keep us uh, living. And we put some of that time and money also in the media forever, and we have the direct sales from the forever. So it needs to be a daily dialogue, I think, with people. What could you do in our place if you looked at our books? How could you do it better? It needs to be friendly, it needs to be human, but it needs to be uh, supporting itself over the long term. So this is the challenge. I need help on that. I need your name. And we are open to that. It's not like uh, me and you, it's, uh, it's a dialogue. So this, 60 cycles, and another few things, we all have to keep in mind to do properly copyrights and connect. <laughs>